hello our beautiful youtubers welcome to our channel you've reached joanne and elizabeth here with world's cup of joe awaken your soul if you are in a twin flame connection and your world has shifted freaking upside down inside out and everything and i mean everything feels cray cray you've come to the right place so excited to go over this question because there's so many people that get drawn to tarot especially in this twin flame connection there's so much that can be revealed with it so go ahead and get us started love hello our love here's your question and then we'll tackle it i just saw of course tarot reading doesn't work for twin flame journeys can you explain why i thought that it could just indicate to us in which state our consciousness is feeling to help us navigate and can you tell me more about my twin flame as he is mirroring my consciousness thank you so the reason why tarot readings do not work for this connection is because tarot readings are focused on future and there is an infinite timelines of future which is all focused on infinite possibilities and this connection is based on this now moment so when you're focused on future regarding your person you're focused on mind and so any tarot reading, even though it may be accurate, unless your person is next to you, that tarot reading, focusing on what your person's thoughts are, what they're doing, thinking, and feeling, is actually push. Your person is always going to be in this present moment. So the very question of like what their consciousness are in regards to you, if your focus is on you, focusing on you feeling good, focusing on how you're doing and thinking and feeling, your person can actually be in your space. But if your your thoughts and your emotions and metaphysical energy is focused on your person, then in tandem, their mind will distract them with anything else but you. So any focus on your person is pushed. That is why tarot readings would be pushed. Again, I'm not saying they're not accurate. But if your person's not next to you and you're getting a tarot reading about your person, what good is that thoughts of what your person's really thinking about, feeling or dreaming about if they're not next to you? Because otherwise you're just feeding the addictive energy and you're causing more separation. So this is already a very addicting, obsessive, like, energy on our own without even doing a tarot reading naturally waking up like our mind constantly already thinks of our people and mind automatically obsesses about our people so why give it more mind when you can release all of the things that's focused on what your person's doing thinking feeling and just really go within and focusing on yourself that will allow the space for your person to be more in your space. So tarot reading is like, it, it's it's just the biggest push. And um, there's a lot of people that get addicted to it. And it's really, really, really hard to get out of it. So if you even have a, a, a little glimpse of what your person's doing, thinking and feeling, and you're constantly leaking on that, you're constantly giving addictive energy to your person. And the fact that I just said, even though it's truth, even though let's say right now I can find out what my person's doing, thinking and feeling, knowing my person now in permanent relating experience, I don't give an ass. I really don't give an ass unless he's telling me I don't want to hear it because I don't want to give the mind more addictive energy to push. And so I'm going to allow my present moments to be the areas that I manage as far as balancing my physical relating experience. Otherwise, you're going to get lost in the mind. You're going to feed the addictive energy and you will get lost in the connection. But now we're giving it more addictive energy just because we want to figure out what they're doing, thinking, and feeling. So if you have any mental, metaphysical, or emotional energies going to your person, they will in tandem, push your person more away. So that is why. Future is mine. Any focus on your person's future thoughts, future ideas, or past, or even like intuitively now. What is my person thinking now? 
who the F cares if they're not next to me? I don't care. I truly mean that. I truly, truly mean that. Unless my person's telling me right now, I don't care because it's going to feed more addictive energy for me. Tarot readings, readings, energies, focusing on anything about your person will in tandem pull your person away. Even the question of where their consciousness in regards to you. If you're focused on them, they're focused on anything else but you. That's just the way the energy of the polarities go. You as a positive polarity, your energy goes to them. When your energy goes to you, then they can go to you. So that's my question for you. If your consciousness is focused on you and you're focusing on your journey and making you feel better and worrying about what you're doing, thinking and feeling in tandem, they will do the same. But until you do so, it will continue, will not allow them to um, even think of you. Their consciousness of you their mind will distract them of anything else but you until you focus on you because they are you. What do you think, Glad? So I absolutely agree with you. There's not much that I could add except saying that most, almost all clients we've had that are into tarot are in the addictive energy when they come to us and they've been watching tarot. And we're there trying to get them out of that addictive energy. And tarot is like, like you said, Joanne, it's so much based on future. It's so much based on stories. It really is. Even if the reading is accurate, there are so many possibilities because there are infinite timelines that can happen based on your energy. So it's just one little glimpse, but yet the mind wants to create a story out of it. And that's the biggest thing with the tarot readings. It's not that you're getting the tarot readings done. It's that the mind will fixate on the story and it becomes a, it becomes ruminating on whatever was discussed. It becomes this ideal or idea that the mind just wants to cling to. And that's where the, the downfall with tarot really is. And I want to say this. I actually had this download last night. I shared it briefly with you, Joanne, but I want to share it for this video because I think it's really relevant. Why is presence, why is presence the thing that draws in your twin flame? Because well, we always will focus always on presence. And why is that? When you're present and you're observing you're stilling the mind, you're stilling the thoughts, you're focused on the senses, which is observing, you're focused on what can I see, taste, hear, touch, because the observer is the one that watches, it hears, it doesn't have a judgment on anything. So why does that bring in your twin flame? Because think about it, when you still the mind, you're stilling it, you're then tapping in to soul energy, which is the observer. And that energy is then reaching your shared soul, which is your twin flame. Now, the tarot readings, all of that stuff focuses on the physical and the mental of your person. It's not aligning with the soul energy that is your shared soul. So when you get into that space, you're now in mind and you're now trying to understand and figure out and know what's going on with the mind and the physical of your person. But that's not your shared soul right? It's not your shared soul. So it doesn't do anything for this connection. The way to this connection is through the stillness, the observer in you, which is soul. Ooh, you, you just made me realize. Well, I'm sorry. Double download. When you <laughs> align, when you were saying like, if I can tap into our, our one shared soul, right? If there was like some form of like tarot reading or something that I can just like tra be transported Ported into soul, which is my twin flame, which is our one soul energy, that would be unity consciousness. And at that point, you're not pushing anymore because you're beyond just the physicality of your person. You're now aligning with one your one shared soul energy, which is like everything. And so when you're aligned with that, you're aligning with the part of you that is everything, which is the opposite of mine, the opposite of stories, the opposite of what tarot readings would have done. 
which requires pure presence and being and reaching that state of unity consciousness, which is within. The difference between tarot and the lining with soul is the lining with soul is internal while tarot is looking external. I'm Let me look at these cards to show me what this connection is and could be. And then you're basing your connection on what the readings are saying, which is very external versus when you are going within and you have that knowing where you are one and you are part of everything where my heart is freaking open right now. Holy smokes, Elizabeth. That was beautiful. When you reach that oneness from within, that is your twin flame. That is your person. And that is what allows your soul to be together in the physical. And again, it's not push. So the difference between both is one is push because it's focused on what your person's doing, thinking, and feeling. When you're tapping into soul, when you're tapping into presence, when you're tapping internally within the soul that you are, you're aligning with you, you're aligning with God, you're aligning with everything. You're aligning with your twin flame. And that's the difference. One is mind. The other one is soul. Even though it's really fun and cool and like, right, you can, you can, you can find out a whole bunch of stuff, but really in the end of the day, unless it's in front of you, it does me no, I can't really co-create with something that's not in my now moment. So all I'm working with is just energies of possibilities and I'm going to leak off of it. And I'll actually push it away. So even if you did get, you know, a tarot reading that said like your person's thinking of you, well, as soon as you heard that comment, you're automatically pushing them. So they're not going to be able to think of you any further. You really want to align with presence and your alignment with self, which is your twin flame. This is that one connection where what you're doing on you is essentially what's drawing them in. What you're doing for them is what's pushing them away. It's really, really crazy. Super deep. We love you so much. Bye, love.